Help me docs, it's Simon here. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's the weekend, everybody. <laughs> I love uh, I love the weekends. I love my job and I enjoy every day of the week, but it's always nice when you get to the weekend, isn't it? So, um, the reason why I've come on today, you'll have seen from the title, is because I'm going to share my um, latest Sabbat celebration kit. Um, I know we're not at um, Yule yet, um, it's still a couple of weeks away, but I don't know, for me, December, I've just realised as well, I've not put my little Christmas lights on. Um, yeah, so for me, December in particular is, where's the coloured ones? Bear with, hey, there we go. Um, December just feels Christmassy, feels very Yuletide. And so I tend to, 1st of December, you know, put my tree up and things. A few people have been asking about the tree. And in the Cup of Catchable Cards last week, they asked, um, a few people asked about the what I put on my tree. So if I remember, I'll try and put a cutaway in now just to, to show you the tree. But basically, I have these beautiful clear crystals hanging from my branches. It's not a tree, it's, it's branches, it's winter branches. And I've got my beautiful white goddess, which I got from Bridget's Grove. I've also got a hair because, you know, me and hairs. Um, and then there's a couple of other little bits and bobs on there that people have sent to me over the years. I only put clear glass on. So there's some hearts and some snowflakes and things like that. So that's how I decorate. I have my, uh, oh, and I've got a Santa at the bottom as well, my Father Christmas which I won in a raffle, um, a staff raffle many years ago. So yeah, so that's, um, and I, I always try and make my space a little bit uh, festive. And candles, I mean, we use candles all year round, but there's something very Christmassy about candles, isn't there? So, um, if you've been a subscriber for a few months, then you'll probably recall that I did um, a walkthrough of the Mabon um, celebration kit by Sons of Asgard. But when it came to getting the um, Samhain one, they'd completely sold out. And I, I did kind of get individual pieces. Uh, one of the things was this uh, Beyond the Veil spray. Um, and I got some incense and things. But I decided to get it early. So I have had this about a week now. Um, but I thought I'd open it because I wanted to start using some of the um, the products inside. And I love the products from Sons of Asgard. They're really brilliant. So we get three candles. Um, and, you know, there'll be information about these. But these are kind of like little altar candles. We've got some um, oil. We've got some crystals. Well, it looks like there's some howlite in there. Um, then we have this big candle, a larger candle, which has the three colours together. Spray. And we have some incense. And some more. Um, I, I use these more for my little offering bowls that I have on my sacred space rather than burning with them. Some charcoal discs. Let's remove the packaging. And then we get this little sheet on the inside of the box as well. There we go. So it says Yule. Oops, that is not the camera. 19th of December to the 23rd of December, which is the winter solstice. The holiday of Yule was celebrated long before Christians adopted the date. Too true. Many of the Christmas traditions we see, see today stem from old pagan customs. The Christmas tree is just one of them. Its original name was a Yule tree. As the solstice, it is the longest night of the year. From this day forward, light begins to return and we celebrate the rebirth of the sun god. And I'll, I will, uh, you'll also do another reading from uh, Lunar Moon Hair. 
Um, the traditions are lighting the Yule log, a wreath, making a wreath and gift giving. And correspondences are pine, holly, myrrh and cinnamon. Isn't that lovely? So I'm just going to grab the iPad as well so I can read to you what exactly is in the um, kit. So just bear with. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the Sons of Asgard page up and it's got the picture of the Yule Sabbath celebration gift box. And it lists here everything that they put inside the kit. So the Yule celebration gift box. In the Celtic Wheel of the Year, Yule signifies the sun being at its southernmost point in the sky. This day is the shortest of the year. And as the nights grow longer and all of nature seems to sleep, it is a time for spiritual hibernation, peace and renewal, as we mark the descent of the wheel of the year and the, and the height of the year's darkness, we realise that the warmth and light of the sun will soon be returned to us. Um, it says these gift boxes are perfect for celebrating the Sabbath, no matter what your experience. So we get a Yule, I'll pop that here out of the way, a Yule loose incense jar which is this one hand blended loose incense i love the smells of their products as well oh that smells so festive oh that is wonderful absolutely wonderful so we will be burning some of that later then we have the yule sabbat spray which is this one magical spray Yule. I'm going to spray some of that. Oh, oh, that smells lovely. So, Yule Sabbat spray. And then we have the Yule Magical Oil. I love these because these can go directly onto the skin as well. So, I do. Um, you can, I mean, you can use them for anointing and things like that, but they're nice just to put on the pulse points and rub them in. Oh, it smells wonderful. So that's the um, magical oil. And then we have um, the candles. So we have a white spell candle. And then we have the light blue scale, uh, scale, the light blue spell candle. And then we have the sky blue spell candle. And candle magic is really, really easy to do. Um, if you're not sure, just do a very simple Google search on candle magic or candle spells. And uh, you get all the corresponding colours and everything. And then we've got the Yule Mini Triple Spiral Candle, which has the three of them together. And these are in beeswax, which are really nice. And then for our crystals, we do have Howlite, which I thought I spotted. In fact, ah, that's broken. That's a shame. I could say there's two pieces, but, well, there's two pieces now, but that's actually, that's actually broken, which is a shame but that's fine, let's pop them in here. And then we have a um, milky quartz, which is really nice, milky quartz. And here we have a sodalite crystal, which is that very deep blue, which is really lovely. So I'll just pop them there for now. And then we have the Yule Herb Blend. And again, I use these for um, offerings. I've got two little offering bowls, one to the garden, one to the goddess on my sacred space, and they change. Oh, I wish you could smell this. How beautiful it is. So lovely. Um, we get the white organza bag and we get the um, charcoal discs so i love these because i'm getting you know quite a collection and 
it's really nice when the sabbats come around and you've got your new kind of sprays and oils and incense and herbs it's just really lovely so i'm going to light some of this um and yeah just enjoy feeling festive so thank you for watching everybody just a quick video today um and yeah look after yourselves have a fantastic weekend and until next time go in peace namaste and blessed be